Turner, what do you think about that thing right there? Awesome. Do you know what that's called? Uh, my Pet Monster. My Pet Monster, because I just told you, huh? As historical author Anthony Brandt has said, other things may change us, but we start and end with family. I've been picking the Commonwealth for 20 years, searching high and low at yard, estate sales, antique malls, thrift stores, junk shops, garages, and sometimes even barns for treasures I can pass on to new homes through eBay. But now as I watch my little ones growing up before my eyes, I find that my real treasures are right here with me every day. So join us as we pick, flip, and resell on our two eBay stores and in our two antique booths. Hello everybody, welcome back to Commonwealth Picker. My name is Kevin and we are in the eBay cave this evening and I've just been waiting for a slow day and I wanted to be able to show you a few things that we've been buying lately and taking pictures of and getting ready to list and I've been waiting for a slow day to do it and I thought this was that slow day because we only had six sales but then I turned it on and I realized we had nine sales, three to the same person so it showed up at six and then we had two more sell really quick. So turned out to be above average day. Although I have to say above average these days, I would say it's below average for these days. We've been selling an awful lot. We haven't had too many slow days lately. And $223, $225.43 to me lately is a slow day, which is pretty good because normally we like to just hit that $200 mark every day in gross sales and make around 100 bucks profit. Sophie's with me today. This is the day she's normally with me because nobody's home but me and her. But yesterday it seemed like she wanted to come down here too even though the homeschool hustlers were upstairs. So, so I think this is what we'll do today. Something a little bit different. I have a few little segments I want to show you of some neat things we're, we're buying lately. Matter of fact, one thing I previewed yesterday was those vintage 80 plush and some vintage 80s toys and figurines. I showed you the popples yesterday and then said, hey, on Saturday I'll show you where we bought those, but that's not the case. We're gonna show you that tomorrow on our typical garage sale day. And it's a great garage sale. It's one of my favorite ones. I know you'll enjoy that video if you check it out tomorrow. And we got popples, we got all kinds of stuff. So I'm gonna show you a little bit more tonight if I haven't already showed you in the preview of what's gonna be on that Saturday, or excuse me, what's gonna be on that Sunday video. What's up, girl? You all right back there? You want a treat? And I have a Bible that we bought not too long ago. I wanna show you some pictures of those hot rod magazines. I've had some people asking about those magazines we bought at that yard sale a couple weeks ago, and I wanna show you those. Haven't listed them yet, but we're going to pretty darn quick. Matter of fact, by the time you see this video, hopefully I'll have it posted tonight on those hot rod magazines and a couple other little things that I want to show you that I haven't been able to lately we got Bryce the coin boy back a little tiny segment something he found and something I bought off of him that we're gonna resell so hopefully we can mix it in maybe show you something that's sold and then show you one of those segments show you something that's sold and show you one of those segments and don't forget to look in tomorrow night on that garage sale video and for all those of you out there who think that I'm crazy for selling those in a man uh, we sold one today. Matter of fact, we sold more than one, so stay tuned. Let's see what's sold. All right, first item up is something that I bought at a yard sale coming home from Roanoke three weeks ago. And it is this IRT5 graphite shafted club. And this is a, uh, like I said, it's a 24 degree rescue club. And these sell pretty good. This one sold for $52.95. It's got a brand new grip on it. I paid $5 at a yard sale and this was $52.95 plus shipping. So really happy with that sale. It was one of the best things we bought that day and we bought a ton of great stuff. That was a great weekend. I bet we make two grand off of that day. We spent a long time out there and it was some hard work, but we will definitely make some money. This is the first item that sold out of that batch of sales because it's the first thing I've had a chance to list. I've been a little under the weather and haven't been able to list too much lately because I'm trying to get some other stuff done. So uh, this is a really great sale and we're gonna ship this thing off and it should be about a 48, no, a little bit less, should be about a $44 profit. Turner, what do you think about that thing right there? Awesome. Do you know what that's called? Uh, my Pet Monster. My Pet Monster, because I just told you, huh? So this thing is funky looking. Look at this thing. Look at his teeth. 
I know. Yeah, I think this is 1985, if I remember from looking at it earlier. It does have some condition <laughs> issues right there, and its hands are the worst. So the hands are pretty rough. And these things come with handcuffs. You can probably see the indentations where the handcuffs would go. It's got the horns on it. Look at that thing. That thing's nuts. Yeah. So this was at the yard sale. I think we paid $3 for it. So if it was in great shape and had the handcuffs, Turner, do you know how much this thing would be worth? What? It'd be worth about 300 if it was just great shape with handcuffs. But, alas, it's not great condition and it doesn't have the handcuffs. So I'm thinking between $50 and $80 plus shipping. So this was in our great little buy. You guys have got to check out this video. It should air Sunday at 6 o'clock. Check it out. All right, next thing up is an item that's been hanging around since early, early summer. And I paid 5 bucks for it. And it sold for $21.88 plus shipping. It is a catalytic heater. It's 3,000 to 5,000 BTUs. And it's made in the USA. It is from 1974. So those of you who don't know, whenever you're looking at Coleman products, usually you can find the year that it's made right there on the bottom. Lanterns, you can do the same. And it's usually just a two-digit number. And you can figure out when it was made, and it helps you when you list them to make sure you put the right year in there. People look for different things for different reasons. So not a huge money maker, but it's about a $14 profit. Make sure there's nothing in it when you ship it. Hey, I know a lot of you were asking about these magazines we got in that last sale. So there's a total of 41 hot rod magazines and they're, they're you know they're awesome graphics this is from the 60s and they've got some good advertising in them as well from time to time although they don't seem much to have in that i don't, I don't think they have too many in that one but there's some pretty cool ones for sure goes all the way back to 56 i think is that what i said 57 some 57s in there as well and they're in pretty darn good shape you know they have a musty smell to them um, and a few of them have some problems you know i mean they're obviously from the 1950s and early 60s so but they're really neat looking and there's 41 in all and i decided i was going to sell them in one giant lot instead of parting them out and going one at a time although we could make more money there's just not a huge demand for them one at a time so i think that's what we'll do also found some speed magazines i haven't even looked these up haven't looked in them at all i'm sure they have some value we'll just lot these together and sell them all as one lot so it's a great little sale paid 10 bucks for all of them so i think some of the better ones would go for 10 to 12 bucks a piece and then some of the worst ones is you know five bucks plus shipping so i think we'll just lot them all up and, and put a price on them and make a quick buck all right, so this one's a little ironic because if you were watching the show yesterday, I mentioned this as being one of my bread and butter items for years and years. And I really haven't sold one yet this year. Rise Share Reseller told me the other day, I think it was, I don't know, it was his Instagram or, or where, where where I saw it, but he's like, I sold one of these. I would have never bought one, but he, he bought one and sold it. This is a little too low, low rent for him out there. But he sold it for $22.41 plus shipping. I think that's what he sold it for. So that's what I listed mine for. And it sold today. $22.41 plus shipping. I think I paid $3. One of the very first yard sales we did, yard sale videos we did, um, way, way back in July, I think, uh, is where we picked up one of these. I picked one up at a yard sale, drove up the road, went to Goodwill, and picked one up in Goodwill. So I think that's where this one came from. And I think it was $3. Might have been 2 Never really a bad idea to pick those things up because you can, even if they don't work, you can sell the parts and pieces. Some of them are long tail and some of them sell pretty quick. And sometimes I've seen people selling the little disc, little metal disc, one at a time. To me, that's that's uh, not something I'd spend my time on to make, you know, 50 cents a piece. But I have definitely seen it and I've, I've sold the discs as a set before because the gun doesn't work. And then I'll sell the pieces to the gun. So that's another way to do it if you have a little bit of time. All right, so I want you to take a look at this Bible that I found. I think it's kind of neat. This thing is huge, just to give you an idea. And I bought this at a yard sale not too long ago. It was on a video as well. But this thing is pretty darn big. And it's also really thick. And it has a copyright in it from 1939, I, th I think is what I saw in here. And it's in pretty darn good shape. This is really heavy. 
me see if I can find some cool stuff here. So this little uh, Freemason structure of Freemason. Uh, let's see, 1929, 1931, Newark, New, Jer New Jersey. And it's got the structure of the Freemasonry and the presidents who were Masons. And it's really got some nice illustrations to those who have left our midst to fight for peace and freedom. So this is a pretty cool little deal here. And I can't even remember what we paid. I have to look back at that video. I just think it's kind of neat. And I can't find too many comps. I think there's one out there like it. And I don't know. I don't think the listing's really good. So I'll have to check it out. Let's see what we got here. 1953. So I'm going to look that up. I didn't see that earlier. 1953. And we'll see what we can come up with and see if we can get a... You know, it's got a little damage there. It's got a little damage in some places. But this is a pretty neat Bible. And it's even got illustrations in it. That looks... Wow, look at that. King David, Hebron. So that's a pretty cool Bible. I think it was the yard sale when I tried to get the uh, Black History books, and she wouldn't let me have them, which is unfortunate. Really neat. Illuminated manuscripts. It's kind of cool. So anyways, I thought I'd show you that before I listed it, and maybe you'll see it on a future video. All right, here is a large mock Under Armour compression shirt that I picked up for a dollar at a yard sale and it sold for $17.41. So you pick it up for a dollar, sell it for $17.41. It's around a $10 profit, maybe just a little bit more, $11. And that one sold in no time flat. That thing sold in less than 24 hours. So that's a pretty good little price, $17.41. I don't know why I put 41 on it, don't ask me. It just feels right. So sometimes it's $17.81. Sometimes it's $17.88. Sometimes it's $17.95. I don't know. I usually find one that's sold for um, around the same price and I put a funky number on it. I really don't know why. All right, Blue Ridge Mama told me that we had a clothing sale on Mercari. And I've never had a clothing sale on Mercari. I don't think she has either. She sold some shoes. And I've sold a couple of things on Mercari. But this is our first pure clothing sale in Taylor Loft. 15 bucks. All right, so here's a combo buy that I can only imagine is a viewer, but I don't remember seeing an email or a message anywhere on the purchase. And, you know, when you buy some, you can put a message to the seller, and I don't remember seeing that. But I'm thinking with this combo, it's got to be a viewer. If it's not, Michael, we appreciate you, even though you'll never hear this. And if it is, Michael, we appreciate you very much. I think, I can't remember what the total sale price was. I can't see it up there, but I think it was around 40 bucks for all of these right here. We'll send them right off to you. By the way, both of these hats came in the Cincinnati Picker lot, which is no surprise, of course. This one was new with tags. It doesn't look like it's ever been worn, maybe once. And this one is just an old school Charlie Hustle hat to commemorate his, his uh, all-time hit record in 1985. Hey, we're back here with Bryce. The coin boy, but we got to come up with a better name <laughs> for him. He picked up a couple things at a, I guess it was a yard sale, wasn't it? Yup. And this one needs a little cleaning, but uh, uh, this one's a cool old radio. These don't have much value, but these have a little bit more value. They're the flip ones, anywhere between 15 and 30 bucks, probably something like that. Um, the old flip radios are pretty good, especially the long, thin ones. Some of them can go anywhere between 15 and 50 bucks, depending on which ones. The backlit ones are better. Just check the model numbers. They're, uh, they're nothing amazing, but the flip ones are definitely worth looking up, and you can get some decent money. Plus, I like cool old, uh, old wood uh, radios, except for they're obviously not wood. So, And there's something else. Bryce, show, yeah. us, show us that other little coin. Uh, this is what I got right here. We'll it's around. a 1858. It's called a Flying Eagle Scent. And uh, this was actually the first what they call small uh, scent penny. Before, whenever they made pennies, they were actually like about like that size. And uh, this was the, the small scent. They actually made them for three years. Then uh, they kind of switched the design because look how faded the eagle was. Right. And it really wasn't doing very well. So what the Mint decided is they were going to uh, stop making these and make something called of what we know as a uh, as an Indian head scent. Okay. So this is pre-Indian head. What's on the other side? 
The other side, it actually says uh, one cent. It's a li it's really faded because, as I said, when they were making these, they faded extremely quickly. Mm -hmm. And uh, where I got this was actually pretty cool. Something that I do every now and then is uh, a lot of times I go to the bank mm -hmm. and I ask for uh, pennies. I ask for it to get a, a roll of pennies. But I always ask, hey, can I have a few rolls, like $5 worth of, uh, of uh, circulated pennies? And there's usually people that just bring it in that have them wrapped. And uh, every now and then you could find some pretty cool things if huh. you know what you're looking for. So you found that in a coin roll from the bank. Yup. That is and pretty it, cool. So I paid a dollar for it like and it. it had uh, 99 pennies and this one. And with this condition right now on a collector's value, uh, they go about between 35 to $40. Okay. All right. So and they made it for three years from 1856, 57, and 58. All right. All right, this is going out to a couple of brothers from Nebraska. And if I can remember the names, I think it's Tyler and Brad, if I can remember the name. And they sent me a nice message, and I really, really appreciate it. And so this is going out to both of them. I think if I have my story right, that you guys are, are new resellers. I can't remember. I know I've communicated, I think, with Brad quite a bit. And I appreciate you out there and appreciate you watching the show. So we're going to send these off to you. And I think, like I said, I think you're new eBayers or you have stores. I can't remember. Just started a store. Um, and maybe I'll link those below. I haven't looked at your stores yet. And I'm going to go check it out and see how you all are doing. We really appreciate you. And we'll have this right out to you. All right. So hang around here for the end of the show. There's always something else. So we should have spaced out a few interesting things. Hopefully you enjoyed them. And I just want to give a little message to all my uh, naysayers out there for buying 1500 plush in a man. So there's four today. We only have 1496 to go. So you better get yours now. Hey y'all, I appreciate you. And look at Sophie. She managed to stay in the eBay cave all night long. You deserve a treat for not being too rowdy. Looks like you want one anyways. Can you say goodbye? <laughs> See y'all next time. Hey, and don't forget to watch that video tomorrow. It's going to be a fun yard sale. Thank you.